Good morning, family of God. This is Vicki and Chuck. Welcome to Morning Sessions. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And I'm telling you what, that's going to become a real challenge for for uh, God's people as things deteriorate. I'm going to read a comment to you this morning. You guys, first I want to say thank you so much for coming to this little corner of Father's Vineyard. Chuck and I both love this time with you guys. We appreciate you so very much. Thank you, Father. Before I read this comment, I just want to encourage you to please somehow make note of our um, email address. It's blessings at vickiandchuck.com. That's Vicki with a Y. And you spell the word and out. All that information's in the uh, description box. But I really want to ask you guys if there is something going on in your nation or your city and you want prayer you can leave a comment and we love reading your comments but I just got a comment from a gal a few minutes ago who had just left a comment and then went back to look and it was gone so if you would please email us and let us know I will let everyone know when I do the prayer video on Thursday and even in an ongoing fashion I plan on you know putting that in front of everybody in this nation in this nation this nation please be praying even though we do a general thing if I get your comment about something in particular you want us to pray about here in the vineyard or on the prayer video email it to me please to make sure that I get it or send it to the uh, prayer team and we will all get it and if you email me something I'm gonna go ahead and pass it along to Teresa too but I just wanted to let you know, I think that's really a good idea because the prayers of the saints, the prayers of the righteous availeth much according to scripture. So, so we're going to be praying, but I want to read this comment to you guys because things are happening. You may have noticed, some of you may have seen that I put out a, a video on the 13th and uh, it's messages the Lord's given me. The most recent was this morning. In a dream and then one a few days ago anyway there's a bunch of stuff on there but then I go and I read the comments in the comments section and all of the things father was talking about people are writing to me I didn't even know this people were writing to me and saying this is going on this is going on so time for the body to wake up um, and I know you guys are most of you who are listening I think are awake that's why you keep coming to this channel praise God thank you all we love you very much and we're glad you're here <laughs> okay so this came from Carmen in uh, South Africa and she said this was in response to morning sessions number 83 podcast that went out called while we can she said amen Vicki Jesus is everything this message is straight from father unrest and looting has broken out here in South Africa malls retail shops supply trucks etc all being burned army was deployed and private citizens bearing arms and fighting the looters this is about to spill over into conflict i believe also the coldest it's been this year i spent the night in prayer and father showed me that the enemy has manipulated the world like our country has manipulated its people to hate each other to do his bidding for him to kill and destroy it's a hard truth but a necessary one please pray and fast family this is it death and destruction is here there is nowhere to run so please just give it all to Jesus right now then you have nothing to fear I believe father is removing the inner removing the enemy's strongholds and this will be painful I am not sure but I think the letters OMW may mean oh my word or something the pain of the last few years has been beyond anything I thought I could handle, but the Lord God is sovereign over all of it, and I'm still here. All the pain, all the fear, all the death. Father is still in control. I am filled with peace, can only be supernatural. There is no other explanation. 
I will intercede in prayer for Father to have mercy on all of us and keep his family safe until the indignation has passed. Please pray without ceasing now, family. Pray for the prodigals, for the lost, for the broken, for the forgotten, for the blind and abused, and no matter what happens, don't panic. Run to Abba. Run to Abba no matter what happens. He is so awesome and just. Do not fear. Never will he leave you or forsake you. God bless you, Chuck and Vicki. My power went out a few hours ago. Whatever happens, you guys are such a blessing to me and this vineyard. Oh my word, Vicki, you won't believe how Father has used this channel in my life. Praise God. Thank you, Father. I'm praying for you guys and all the saints every day. Love you. Look only up. Oh, uh, let's see. Is she in South Africa? Or, let's see. Z A. I think I'm. I'm pretty sure she's in South Africa. We have some folks that are in New Zealand too, and but we know stuff's. You know, it's increasing, and we're not supposed to be surprised by it. We're supposed to trust God, and we're supposed to draw close, and we are not supposed to just think about ourselves. We're supposed to be praying for other people. God's good, you guys. You can probably hear. You can probably hear, I think that was either a car or a motorcycle that just went by. And the dog's laying next to me, and sometimes he snores. So if you hear noise, that might be him. Um, so let's pray this morning, because we all have stuff going on, and I there's conflict. There's conflict all over the place. If you watched the video I put out yesterday, I talked a little bit about that dream the Lord gave me about people fighting with one another and not even knowing why they were fighting and it was manipulation that was coming out of uh, it was intentional manipulation that people were doing to cause people in the nation to fight with one another and after reading Carmen's comment that's apparently going on where she is and my guess is that it's going on all over the world because we have an enemy and he's not flesh and blood. But he does use flesh and blood to do his bidding a lot. But we have something greater. And that is our Father God, the creator of all things. And he will absolutely have the victory. So Father, we thank you so much. Every one of us who's come to this vineyard this morning or afternoon or evening or in the middle of the night, we thank you for being God. Thank you so much for being who you are. Everything about you, even the little bit that we know, it's all awesome because you are an awesome God. You are the one true God. We thank you and praise you for all of the plans you've made. And we thank you for reading in scripture where you say you sit in the heavens and laugh at the plans of the enemy. So Father, when fear threatens to overwhelm because of the things we see going on in the world, would you just remind us of that one little sentence whenever it's a good idea for us to be reminded? that you sit in the heavens and laugh at the plans of the enemy. Our God is not taken by uh, circumstances. He is not taken off of his throne. He's not afraid. You guys, let's just trust him. And I can't say it enough, and I'm not just saying it to you. I'm saying it to me too, because I hear what I say, and it helps me too. Trust God, draw closer closer, closer still, closer than that. And when you think you've drawn close enough, you're wrong. You can draw closer. <laughs> we can always draw closer. He is near to the brokenhearted. He draws near to those who draw near to him. Thank you, Father. We thank you for this time that we have, for however long we have it. God, we pray for the connections to be made that you want made. We pray for... Uh, people to be in the place in the places where you want each one of us because you have purpose in that so father if you've told people that they're to move someplace else then uh, we we thank you and ask you to bless them to get on with it if it's time 
And if you've told people to stand still right where they are, then we pray for that as well. But in all of it, Lord, we ask you for your love and your protection to cover us and for you to have your way, for us to be able to hear you clearly and to follow everything you give us to do. And especially, Lord God, that we would remain in peace so that we can hear you clearly. Thank you, Father, for all of these things. We love you, Lord, and we pray them in the name of our Savior, Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus the Christ, the Word of God. Hallelujah. We love you guys. We will be back tomorrow. Till then, God bless you. Have an awesome day in the Lord. Bye for now.